Bear. 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 Put the paper down. We got a show to do here. Bear. Bear. We have a show to do. Holy cow! What? <laughs> Look at this! What? I can't believe this. Delenn. What? Can we do you the show? Look at can we do the no, paper later? Wait, no, hear me out. This is important. Eight must it's do's for first time home buyers. What? They stole our show. They stole our show. They stole our That's show. That's our show. I can't believe it. You this know. is the newspaper right here, and it's powered by Zillow. They're watching us. It's a thing. They have hidden cameras. They want to be us. Hello. Lynn, do you know who we are? They want to be us. Everybody wants to be us. Hello, everybody. My name is Barry Horvath, and this is Moving Forward TV, your local market update. Good morning, and I am Delyn Gaston. Thank you for joining us today. Good so morning. Yeah, I know. What? It's morning. Somewhere. It's morning somewhere. Well, people <laughs> watch our show at night. I'm tired. <laughs> I know. But it's morning when we're filming. And I'm tired. Are you tired? All I'm, right. I'm I know. I haven't had coffee. enough yet. Drink your coffee, girl. I know. All right. So let's let's talk about this week's show. Yes. And we have so many things. Do. And the fact that the newspaper actually stole our show. I'm, I just want to for a disclaimer. <laughs> we had all our material together first, but you know, hey, that's okay. I, mean, I know it's it's, kind of, it's good information, and everybody is. You know what? Some some people have set goals for 2017 that they're going to buy a house. Yeah, and we got and it's a great goal to have. We got the eight must dos. But I tell you what, times have changed, and it's not like when your parents bought a house, and it's not like or even you when you bought a house 10 years ago or something like that. The, Things have changed, and you really need to prepare. This is not your grandfather's Oldsmobile. <laughs> it's not your grandfather's Oldsmobile. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Had to go Star Wars there. Oh my gosh, I saw it. Rogue I loved, One. I did. I loved it. Is it I loved awesome it. I really or what? It. Yes. I know. Yes. I know. I have I to go see it, it again. I loved, I loved it. it. I did too. But I did. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna well, bunny trail for a second. If you are, if you haven't seen Rogue One and you're gonna go and see it. Is this gonna help our first time home buyers? <laughs> no. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> if you're gonna go and see Rogue One. Watch number four, just the first like 10 minutes of number four first, which was A New Hope, which was the one that came out in 1976 or 1977, something like that. Just watch the first few minutes because it all ties in at the end of Rogue One. And you'll say, ah, oh, actually, I, my, my millennial son is the one who <laughs> pointed those things out to me. And I'm the one who saw it, you know, in 1977. But anyway, awesome movie. You liked right. it. <laughs> anyway, <I'm> on to... <laughs> Okay, back well, to first for time home buyers. <laughs> want to talk about Sorry, Walking Dead next? Star Wars. <laughs> oh, Walking Dead. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so see my let's angel give, wings. Look, I, look, look, look. He mentioned Walking Dead. My Daryl Glenn, Angel. Listen thing. to me. I'm also we a Walking Dead fan. We need to educate our people, <laughs> not entertain them. Remember. All right. So since you're going off, now tangent, usually you're the one who's way off track, and I'm the one on listen, track. Listen to me. It's a new year. It's a new beginning. It's a new hope. So you're going to be, it's a new hope. That's right. It's the number four. Yeah. So I'm going to be the serious one from now on. <laughs> Just right. bring up Walking Dead or Star Wars and yeah, I'm off, it's all man. Over. <laughs> all right. So before we get into our dues for first time home buyers, yes. how about our tip of the week? I have something hot off the press. Okay. That I think everybody in the real estate world needs to know. Everybody okay. in the mortgage world, everybody thinking about buying, every first time home buyer okay. needs to buy. What? What? You ready? I want to know. <laughs> okay, so FHA letter came out this week. Yes. Effective on all FHA loans closed on or after January 27th of 2017, there will be a reduction in the monthly PMI cost. Right. Of 25 basis points. Which is pretty big. That is pretty big. So for those you you number geeks out there, what does that mean to you? Well, it's really like, because, you know, the, the insurance is what guarantees that your loan is going to be fulfilled and paid if you default. Right. 
I know. It's know. basically PMI. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, in, in FHA world, it's just MI. It's not private because it's government backed. So it's right. mortgage insurance. It's so what, what we're saying is that monthly mortgage insurance, not, not for anyone who currently has a mortgage in place. Those are not changing. But anybody who has not closed on their house yet and is not closing until after January 27th, your, your mortgage insurance, your PMI is going to go down a little bit. A lot. A lot. Okay, so on 250000 or two, right. uh, you know, that's a lot of money because on every 100000 it's essentially going to save the bar about 250 bucks a year. That's pretty significant. So on 200000 that's $500 a year. So if you are in the middle of a mortgage application right now and uh, you're going with an FHA loan. <laughs> Put your brakes on. What they quoted you for your monthly payment on the initial package that went out to you, going to be a little bit better. <laughs> so it's going to give you more <laughs> By buying. the time you close, as long as you close after January 27th. So depending on how rates go, of course. Right. Um, it will either give you more buying power or a lower monthly payment. Right. Okay, there's our tip for Finally, the Finally, nice. Thank you, FHA. Something positive has well, happened, and that's, and that's great. Well, and that's all because of the new laws in place that the default rates are down. I mean, because, you know, premiums are affected by the default. Right. Let's face it. Now, so. the other thing, just going right along with that, the other thing that happened, positive things for 2017 already, is, is the um, maximum uh, loan amount has gotten extended a little bit, has gone up. It used to be the maximum loan amount under Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac could be 417 now it's gone up, so but that was old news because that happened a couple of weeks ago. That was last year, Delin. I know, <laughs> end that was of so last, last year. year. It was so <laughs> last year. But anyway, so we're starting 2017 off to a really good um, step and get, in the right direction. Let's talk about the dues. Yes. The first so thing you want to do is educate yourself. Absolutely. You're out. You're out. You're getting in the home market, and you you want to find out what's going on. You're really thinking about. I'm taking that first step and the American dream, home ownership. Which is great. And you know, it, like we is have. Is it great? To, like we, home ownership. You didn't is say great. it was great when the hot water heater broke. <laughs> <laughs> like, what I was going to say is, like, we have to tell this generation that is watching us to educate themselves. This is, they're so savvy. They are smart. They are tech savvy. How do you know they who's educate us? everything. <laughs> millennials. I'm talking to you millennials out All there, right. so, which are usually our first-time home buyers. So the first thing you want to do is educate. And I think the first place people go today is the internet. Yeah. And, and just kind of get an idea. And watch our show. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll help educate you. That's right. Because we're educators. That's right. The next thing that we want you to do is know your credit. It's very important. Some one of the biggest things that they're going to be looking at is credit. And although that there are some programs that are a little bit more flexible with credit, it's very important. Don't let them tell you. Just find out your credit yourself. There's a lot of free things Absolutely. out there. Annualcreditreport.com. That is the only true free government The site. only true. Annualcreditreport.com. And you can get your report from, for free. For free from for all three. All three. All three bureaus. Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Yes, and you know, that's very important because it's not just your score. That, right. that site doesn't give you your score. But there's, I, don't, I know this will shock you, Dylan. but they make mistakes. Make mistakes. And the time to find out about it is now, not right. later. Right, not but, when you're already you know, in contract on but a But guess what? What? We're going to talk about who you need to surround yourself with when you go through this process. But first, we've got to go on a break. Good. It's our first break. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. I'm Casey Cordetti, this is Chat and Dish, and today I am going to show you how to make, fresh from Florida, a delicious jambalaya. When I do jambalaya, I always do all my prep work ahead of time. It makes it so easy when you throw it all together. So this is what I have organized. Two cups of chicken stock, one cup of beautiful fresh golf shrimp that I've cleaned and deveined. And then I've got two cups of oven roasted Florida tomatoes. If you can't do this with fresh tomatoes, go ahead and use a can of 14 ounce cooked and chopped tomatoes. I've also got three quarters of a cup of long grain uncooked rice. Then we're on to one cup of fresh sweet onion that you have diced up nice and fine. We've got three quarters of a cup of ham that's also diced. Then we've got Andalusia sausage. 
If you can't find that, you're going to use eight ounces of kielbasa instead. Then we've got chopped celery, that's about two thirds of a cup. We've got a quarter cup of yellow pepper that we've finely diced also. Then we've got a smidge of saffron, a couple of tablespoons of nice extra virgin olive oil, two cloves of garlic that are minced, a quarter teaspoon each of smoky paprika and black pepper, and then we've got a bay leaf and a few sprigs of fresh thyme. That's it. Let's go make our jambalaya. Step one is grab your olive oil, your onions, your celery, and your yellow peppers. Head over to the stove. When your oil's nice and hot, add your onion, celery, and sweet peppers. Saute until they're nice and soft. When your onions and peppers start to give up some of their juices, go ahead and add your garlic. Just stir that in. I've grabbed the spices, the sausage, my rice, and tomatoes along with the chicken stock, and I'm heading over to the stove. Our onions are translucent and the celery is nicely softened, so let's go ahead and add our tomatoes, our saffron, smoky paprika and pepper, fresh thyme, bay leaf, sausage, rice, and chicken stock. Give it all a stir. Drop your heat to medium-low. You want to cover it and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Stir in your shrimp. Cover and simmer for five minutes. Our last step is to stir in the ham and let it warm through. Then you're ready to serve. I cannot wait to taste this. I have to get a little bit of everything on my spoon. Hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. This is fantastic. The tomatoes, the sausages, the golf shrimp. Oh, fantastic. You know what it is? It's a little bit of sunshine from Florida direct to you. As always, thank you for visiting and sharing this wonderful Florida jambalai moment with me. Until next time, I'm going to miss you. Cheers. We're talking jambalaya. I love jambalaya. Who doesn't love jambalaya? I know. Actually, there are, the better. I think some people don't actually like it. I think you either love it or yeah. hate it. Yeah, you're right. You're it's right. It's one of those dishes. Yeah. But I personally, I love it. I know. <laughs> and it's easy to make. Oh, no. <laughs> Not if you make it right. There's some, like True. It's kitchen sink jambalaya. They put well, in, Casey in, makes it look easy. Because you know, she's a professional. I know, I know. And, and I know, we're just this lowly people. I sit people there and I say, I can show. do that. And then, no, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> As you're on the way home, honey, what do you want me to pick up for dinner? <laughs> yeah, I, know. I know how you live. Okay, no, I can't. This is a true story. All right, so let's get back to the do's. The do's and the don'ts. No, there's no, no, there's don'ts. no don'ts. Yeah, just sorry. We're very positive. <laughs> We're all about doing. Doing. What we have to do <laughs> to get ready to buy a house right, in 2017. So, so let's talk about that team you're going to surround yourself in. You know, you're a first-time home buyer. Right. The last thing you ever want to do is, you know, I know we all have friends in real estate, and they're new. Mm -hmm. And you're a first-time home buyer. So now you have two people that are what I would like to call clueless, trying to buy a house together. Right. And you really shouldn't do that. You right. should get an experienced professional. Right. And the same thing in the mortgage, you know. Even if you've educated yourself, just please you, don't think that you can do it on your own there's because some, there's so many little nuances. Look, how long you've been doing this? Okay, long time. Long time. I don't want to give away your age because <laughs> she's amazing. Started when I was six. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you need a mortgage professional that's experienced yeah, you know. too. And I'm not discounting anybody that's brand new in the business. Right. But every day we run into something new, right? I mean, and when they sit there and they say in some of these advertisements, "Oh, it's easy and it's quick and it's this and that," you know what? But it, it, there's a lot of steps that have to be taken, and they're very strategic. There's no rockets in this business. No, <laughs> thank you. I like that. You. There aren't. <laughs> I'm that sorry. That would be what we call I'm false so advertising. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quiet. but what we're talking about is surround yourself with good people. Yeah. You need a strong support team, and we don't just mean mean your parents. Not that they're not a strong support no, you, team. I'm sure they are. However, professionals in the business, a good realtor who's been doing it for a while, who can guide you and let you know the steps that you have to take. And you know what's so and funny? And a good mortgage person, the, like the I already said. The real estate person mm -hmm. doesn't cost you a dime. That's the right. seller That's... pays it, and people think, oh, no, I'll go yeah. online, and they call Oh, me. I can go to Zillow.com, and I can go and find this house, and I can go and, and do this house, or whatever. Agent. Yeah, 
let, let me tell you. <laughs> that's... There's nothing worse than getting pressured by, you know, someone that you just call the listing agent. There's a big incentive for this to sell this house. Right. Now, get someone that represents you. Get a right. mortgage professional that's going to have your best interest at heart, that's going to know the ins and outs. And get a realtor who's working for you. You know, and the other thing is I'd And say, you don't pay for either of those people. There is no costs up front and I know in most cases. They're always forgotten, but the insurance people will thank me for saying this. Get an insurance person yes. that's good because we've had insurance agents that have kind of dropped the ball yes. maybe throughout and right. maybe quoted wrong, maybe, right. you know. Because that is a very big part. You know, the biggest thing I always say that, that my first time home buyers or any home buyers want to know is how much do I have to bring to closing and how, what's my monthly payment? And the big well, part, part of your monthly payment is your insurance. insurance so, yeah. yeah, get that all right away. You might fall in love with this great house. But if the insurance on it, because it's a 1928 house, you know, great historical house or whatever, your insurance is going to be like, you know, 250 bucks a month, maybe, you yeah. know, something like that. So it's more than a lot of payments. Right, right. So definitely you want to do that, especially here in Florida, because we do have such a diverse. So get, get your team in place. There's, there's yes. our tip. Big, That's big, your big. do. Okay. <laughs> our next do is to get pre-approved. I know this sounds like a duh, but you'd be surprised that people... You know, they don't really know. Right. They're what out to shopping. Do. And then, they call a realtor and they're looking at a $250,000 house. Right. And guess what they qualify? Right. For, Maybe not. Yeah. 150. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then your dreams are shattered. You have right. to be realistic. It, because they don't realize how much goes into it and what goes into it. They just think, okay, I can probably afford this. Or, you know, you, again, you see on some of these sites, oh, I can afford 1500 bucks a month or something like that. Perhaps you feel you can afford that, but make sure, but maybe there's something with credit or something with your job or something with your income or you got car payments or something. So you have to you have to get with a good mortgage person and get pre-approved Get pre-approved and a good pre-approval consists of not just, remember we talked about credit earlier. Right. People think, oh, my credit's 800, I'm right. good. Oh, so I can get a mortgage. No, not necessarily. No. <laughs> Someone who gets your, verifies your assets and your income documentation because there are things right. in there that can stop the whole process so be very careful about that so get the pre-approval in place and don't just talk to somebody on the phone that says oh yeah you're good you know you need mm -hmm. to provide the documents because we get tax returns and right tax returns tell a whole different story than a pay stub so if you're talking to a loan officer and that loan, a loan what uh, sorry loan originator thank you <laughs> I think banks still call them loan officers. Anyway, if you're talking to a mortgage person, do they really? And yes, and they have not asked you uh, to send in to them to give them a copy of your pay stub and your tax returns, then they're not doing you any justice because it, it is very important to see those documents from a mortgage standpoint. Like Barry said, because sometimes there's things in the tax returns that game changer. Yes, big time. Big and you don't want to change. find that out when and you've fallen in love with this house. You want to find it out before you found that, that perfect house. Let me house. give you a simple analogy on that. You ran a Mary Kay business, and it lost money, right. and you wrote it all off on your tax return. Guess mm -hmm. what? Yeah. That can be a problem. That can Of course, come now you. we have programs out there that can work around that, but you need to know that up front. But not it, always and not all lenders. Not, right. And those. It, exactly. But we do. Just saying. Our next um, thing on our tip on our list is determine your budget. This is very important. I'm actually going to let you talk a little bit about this because of your financial planning background. Well, you know, people get in and, you know, they have this vision of what home they want and mm -hmm. what they can really afford. You know, you need to sit down, do a budget. And when I say do a budget, do, you know, know what, find out what the utility bill is going to be. Find, you know, the electric, um, cable, And you can trash. ask your realtor to ask the seller get, those questions. You know and then... Work it backwards and say, you know what, a thousand a month is right. all I can afford when I add all these other things on. Get that budget right. and stick to it. Don't, you know, don't stretch yourself because that's right. what gets you in trouble. You may qualify for more, you know, there, like you always say, there's two different things, what you qualify for and, and what, what you're, you're comfortable, comfortable with. And setting that budget, including putting money away for yourself, right? Save. You have to because you don't want to be do house rich and cash poor. Right. It, you know, it'll knock you out. But because it's not a matter if something's going to happen where you're going to need some expendable cash, you know, set aside. Right. It's when yep. your car will break down. You will get a flat tire. Stop it. You know, something Stop will it. happen. All right, she's jinxing us. <laughs> no. All right, listen, we're taking a break now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go out. I'm gonna go make sure I don't have a flat tire. We'll be right back.
revolutionary in his field, Dr. Benatti created, perfected, and patented the Benatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Benatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Benatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Benatti succeeds where others fail. All right, we're back with the do's. With the do's, <laughs> the do's, the do's. Okay, and, and to wrap up our last couple of do's here, uh, one of the things wow. that you should be careful with. You don't want to talk about something else first? <laughs> no. Who are you? <laughs> I know. I, I, maybe the only is coming back. I'm right back to business. <laughs> I guess so. All right. I just we want to be talk clear. Star Wars again if you want, or no, Walking no, no. Dead. Let's I'm get good back with to the that. Do's. Let's get back to the he do's. He doesn't like Walking Dead. <laughs> I hate The Walking Dead, just saying. Sorry. Such a good show. <laughs> Um, all right. I so you know like, me. It's not that I hate the show. I just don't like zombies. I, and it's not about the zombies. Ask anyone out there who what. It's not about the zombies. Okay, whatever. It's, it's, whatever. Let's talk right. about buying a house. <laughs> so time your ho home purchase with the end of your lease. Because one thing you certainly don't want to do is leave, leave your landlord hanging and they're going to get mad. They're going to come after you. Because they like that. A big <laughs> chunk of money. You know, and I think people have to be realistic on how long it really takes to find a house today. You're right. It is a seller's market out there. You know, people think I'm going to go look this weekend and find something. We have people looking six months, 12 right. months, 18 months, 24 months, and haven't found their dream yet. Right. You know, and I know... And by the same token, if you're starting to look now and your lease isn't up until, you know, three months from now, yeah, well, you gotta four months from now... That house might not be available. Exactly. And, you know, it is a seller's market, which means they go fast. You know, it's 30, 45 days, mm -hmm. even 60 days for a closing. If you're going to do town payment assistance, you could right. be at 60 to 75 days. Which and is you our next even, tip. Exactly. <laughs> and you haven't even found your house. So time it right. Start early. Right. Um, you know, be and then realistic also on it. Consider down payment assistance. We, uh, we being the underwriting world, the mortgage world, would love to see you saving money. Save, 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 save as much as you can. Separate savings account, not in a coffee can, not cash, but in a separate savings account, save money. But there are also um, down payment assistance programs that you might qualify for. Educate yourself about that. It's all over the internet. Definitely check that out because there's income restrictions. So some people who are making a lot of money, together you're making a lot of money, you might not qualify for Absolutely. those Absolutely, consider down payment assistance. And of course, you know, we're gonna go into more detail with that in our right. upcoming shows on how you may qualify for your down payment assistance. Right. So, you know, stay tuned for all of that. And our last tip, tip number eight, is inspect the house. You're going to inspect it up front when you first find it. You're going to have a home inspection done, but also right before closing, you need to go back, usually inspect same again. day, and inspect again. Make See, sure that it is exactly what you know, it's supposed to be. It's so funny you say that because my home that I purchased, you know, I went in, right. put a contract in. <laughs> And did an inspection, got a home inspection done. All Everything was, was great. Came back later and dishwasher was gone. Yes. Microwave built in was gone. I mean, everything was stripped. It was yes. like, what happened? So somebody came in and, and stripped it. And, and we've it, seen things like that happen. And I did get a credit from right. the bank, but had I not re-inspected. I actually had one where um, they took the bushes off the front lawn. They took the landscaping. <laughs> remember we had the one where it, big rainstorm, they went in, it was all good, and they came back and the ceiling was down in the bathroom. Yeah. Bathroom remember? ceiling on the floor yeah. an hour before closing. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. So definitely inspect. That's all part of the American dream, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all, in all seriousness, kiss your it landlord's is. feet. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> home home ownership is something it's wonderful. It's really a great it, feeling, it's and just... it helps you on your taxes and everything else. So we are going to in 2017, we're going to put some series together so that you are prepared 
um, to purchase the home and know the things to look out for and um, be aware of. Look out for the ceiling on the floor. So next week, <laughs> next week. Yeah, next week we're going to have more tips and go into more details. On, I think what we're going to start off with is pre-approving. Yeah. And for your pre-approval with your mortgage person, what you need to that's know. That's going to be an exhausting show, folks. <laughs> I'll be, I'm off next week. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh -huh. We will have an empty chair here. <laughs> so what else do we have going on? We have any community events going on? We're taking a break. <laughs> Actually, uh, we have an upcoming bus trip with West Pasco Business Association. Which this lightning game, right? We'll be doing the lightning game. So the tentative. This one's going to get sold out really fast. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> Just saying. The unconfirmed time, but it'll probably be confirmed to this, is February 7th. Right. And uh, you'll be able to go on WPBA.biz, get your tickets. Um, it's $50 if you're not a member of WPBA. Right. So you might want to get them. That includes your ride, the game ticket, mm -hmm. um, food before the event, and you know we'll have some adult beverages, and you can bring your own, of course. So it's going to be and a good time. It's always a lot of fun. Oh it's my gosh. always a lot of fun. But that does sell out really fast. So definitely um, reach out to Barry in the next like oh, week sure. or so. He's going to he's going to get all the this confirmed. <laughs> like he's got nothing better to do than plan a bus trip. Yeah, just reach out to me. <laughs> But that's good. Yeah, but that's really all we got going on right okay. now. Okay, so right. well, we Not do appreciate everyone watching. Yes, we do, and and uh, get this out on social media, of mm -hmm. course, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Twixie, Tumblr, and whatever other, the other things is. And share, share, share. Yeah, Twitter, man, Twitter's like <laughs> popping, blowing up. That's yeah. because uh, President-elect Trump is constantly on Twitter. Yeah, apparently, he's, he's like the number one tweeter. <laughs> Anyway, we appreciate everyone watching. Share, share, share. Like, and like, we, like. And we like, like, like. And we will see everybody next week. We are today and every day moving forward. Hey, you remember the line this week? Yay! We're off to a good year. See you next week. Bye bye.